Hey, what's going on YouTube? Gen did Commando and welcome to the channel. As you can see by the title on YouTube there, today we're going to be at reacting to the Indian Army Commando self-defense training in brackets must watch, okay? Now, in the Royal Marines, which is what I was formerly part of, the Royal Marines Commandos, um, self-defense training was a big, big part of it, okay? We were taught by um, the US Marines in self-defense, all right? It was a little bit like... Uh, a, a, a hybrid of UFC slash martial arts what we got taught it was really fun really tough really hard on the body but our self-defense was fantastic guys I really enjoyed that when I was in the Marines so I'm really looking forward to seeing how the Indian Army Commando self-defense works okay and I've heard a lot of good things about this it was recommended to me in a message on Instagram this one actually so yeah really looking forward to doing this one guys but before we get into it We've now got merchandise, guys, all right? And we've got a few things on there, all right? The cups seem to be doing really well. The mugs, I think that's because I'm a tea drinker and I like to drink tea on the streams most of the time. So dig out blind on that, guys. If you want anything, just let me know in the, in the personal DM on Discord or anything, guys. But that's the place to get it. The links will be in the description, troops, okay? But other than that, make sure you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel. And hit the notifications button, guys, all right? It really does help us out. If you're not sure where to find it, guess what? That's where the like button is, where my mouse is on the screen. And that red subscribe button there is where you subscribe. Okay, guys? But let's just get into this one. I'm looking forward to showcasing some more military um, content from India because my wife... If you don't know, I've been getting um, messages and stuff like that. My, my wife is from Mauritius, and she's um, obviously got Indian um, heritage, okay? So, yeah, I would like to know a little bit more about that from her side of things. And, yeah, it would be interesting, guys, because I know quite a lot about the Indian culture in general, but not the military, all right? So that would be really good. Let's just get into this one, troops. Have a blast. Enjoy the chat and the live feed, and drop us a question down there if you wish. Break, break. So it's a similar from the start as how we would learn, um, you know, the self-defense is is literally how they're doing it now. They'd get the mats out or we'd get the mats out. We'd form a hollow square, which means that one side of the square um, isn't filled with people. So just like a horseshoe. And we'd watch the instructor beat the crap out of one of the recruits. Um, so, yeah, that's how it used to normally normally happen, guys. And as you can see right now, that's probably what's going to take place. And it hurts, alright? These guys are making those noises because it does hurt. And when you get flung about on a mat of an instructor, in my case, it was a big, massive US Marine. Um, it was a, I think it was a, a gunner sergeant, a gunnery sergeant. And I remember him now. He's a big, big, massive dude. And he used to just splat us all over the place. But he used to say, if you learn hard here, then you'll know exactly what's expected if you're in combat, all right? And you, you'd, I'd rather be up against him in training than him in real life, okay? So train hard, fight easy was the concept. Deadlock. Oh god, right, so he's using, he's getting wood involved. We didn't use wood in the military. Um, <laughs> this is the first time I'm going to see this. But these Indian guys, these commandos, uh, they're pretty tough, all right, so their train's a little different in respect to that, okay? Be interested to see how they cope with getting hit with wood. <laughs> All right, so he's taking us through how he disarms someone with a weapon system like that. Obviously, he's came from behind because you'd be stupid to go in front of a person who's got a big, massive wooden bat like that. And he's taking him down. He's swiped the knees first. He's getting him into a, what looks like to be a, a chokehold. All right, and it doesn't matter who you are. From that position happening so quick, you're not going to be able to respond to that, especially the way these guys are doing it. They're trained um, to a very high standard. 
Yeah, you're gonna tap straight away just like that young young man is there, right? <laughs> Oh, he's quite he's quite a strong dude for being quite thin. Uh, what he's done is there is he's, it, an enemy's coming in and he's trying to throw a punch at you. He's showing you how to disarm that punch and get him into a different position where you're more dominant so you can take advantage and take control of the situation. All of this stuff is very similar to what we learned in the Royal Marines. So I'm impressed with these guys so far. <laughs> yeah, he he held he held that on for quite some time there, guys. He was tapping, tapping, tapping. Yeah. Whoop punch. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. You can hear the grimace in his voice. It's because when you're getting slammed to the mat, guys. All right, and I remember this very well. You think you're just going to get put to the floor. No, you're getting slammed to the floor and it literally knocks the wind out of you. All right, You can't breathe for a few seconds. Um, so that's what that pain is because you're getting knocked on your back All right, where your lungs are. And it's going to hurt. That's why you get taught how to fall properly in, the, in this as well. I'm guessing they might show how to fall properly on this bit as well. Whoa, let's see that again. That was too quick. <laughs> let's see that again. Body movement, yeah? Body movement. Right, so he slipped to the side. He's getting his head out of the way straight away, which is the most important thing. You don't want to get your head shot. And then he's used his hands and he's twisted the weapon system out of his hands and he's actually gained control of that. That's something that I've seen done. That's something that I did practice myself when I was in the Royal Marines. It's actually relatively easy to, um, to, to, to master, but to begin with, it's, um, it can be quite tricky. But after a while, it's the worst thing someone could do, and you find this out, guys. The worst thing an enemy could do is point a weapon system directly in front of your face because it's one of the easiest things to get away from. Quick slip couple of inches to the side, bring your hands up, get the weapon system to take control of it. And anyone who's trained in it, all right, anyone who's done this before, it'll be, it'll be agreeing, all right? If you've done this before, guys, let me know in the live chat, all right? Because it looks pretty tough to do. It can be hard to master, but it's really, really simple. Uh, once you get it in your brain, you go over and over again. And you'll agree with me if you've done it before. It's probably the worst thing someone can do is point a gun at your head because that's given you the opportunity to take control of that situation. Second technique. Grip for it. Yeah? Grip. And up. Top body one. Top body one. Top body one. Don't hit your knife. Okay? And up. Yeah, I've had this one done to me before, guys. This is the first when we were practicing gun techniques in the uh, in the Royal Marines in the in police troop. What I was in, this is one of the first things that actually um, someone got me in a hold on with the weapon systems, and it's grabbing the hand in such a way that that the pain is horrific. All right, when they grab your hand and drag it down, you use your own leverage and body weight, and you know you, you if you really put some effort in, it, you can easily break the wrist, but it's going to cause a lot of pain. And the least thing you're gonna do or want to do is to hold that weapon system. You just wanna you just wanna quit because the pain is there. Alright guys. <laughs> Next technique. Back side. Okay? Back side, pistol, okay? Right, she's got the gun pointed in the back as well. I remember this one is how to get away from this one. You wanna create as much space as you can as quickly as you can. That's it. So what do you see him do there? He didn't roll into it, he rolled away from it. Okay, so the weapon system is slipping across his body. Alright, you don't want to go into it because it's gonna shoot you still, and that's the most important thing. A lot of these techniques look really hard, guys, but they're not actually, and it makes sense. You're not bothered about the weapon system per se, you just wanna make enough space so when he does fire, it's gonna miss. Alright. Okay. 
I'm quite impressed by these guys as well. All right, I've seen a few videos on um, different organisations within um, India, uh, and I have to be honest, the first video I reacted to, um, I don't think the videography was that good. To be honest with you, so it gave me a little bit of a different, um, a different depiction on it. But I have heard a lot of good things about um, India as a whole. I mean, let's face it, for a military, they're huge, huge. So. Any organization that big has to be good, all right? And I'm open-minded and I'm willing to learn about these guys. If you've got any uh, video recommendations on India or the surrounding areas, if you want to suggest them, suggest them in the Discord, guys. I'd love to love to watch these um, a lot more. And if you're enjoying this video so far, learning self-defense techniques, then please smash the like button and subscribe to Channel Troops. Whoa, they're getting the knives involved now. Let's see how this goes down. Knives, I don't know if they're going to use a real one, but when I was in the military, we used a, like a, a really hard rubber um, knife, okay, for obvious reasons. You know, you don't want to injure yourself in training. So I'd be interested to see what these guys are using. Creating distance and they're taking control of the situation. Yeah, you're going to smash the arm. Slam him on the floor. Yeah, yeah, look to the sky, he's creating distance and then he's grabbing the weapon system, taking control. If you, uh, you got, you know, in a military context, you've got to understand a lot of these guys aren't trained to that standard. So this instructor, uh, who's obviously clearly highly trained, if he can just give a snippet of his information to these young troops there, then they're going to learn a few good life skills. Because in combat, all right, they, they may need it as well. See, he's got his wrist there and he's taking control, <laughs> manipulating the joint. <laughs> Makes it look so easy as well, guys, but it's it's not. This is. This is quite talented stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't already interested in martial arts, okay? And at the end of your close quarter combat, close quarter battle style training, or, or this self-defense style training, um, you, you're not going to be a professional. You're just going to know the mechanics and the basics, um, the basic techniques. But those basic techniques, if learned, um, it can, can be really effective. It can be really, really effective. So... It's actually a really good course to get involved in if you are in the military, just like this guy's doing here. He's an instructor um, for your own personal benefit, I would say. But it wouldn't surprise me if he was a... He's probably the martial artist anyway, because I can see some good technique in his, uh, in his maneuver, the way he's walking around and stuff and holding himself. <laughs> Yeah. So he's got control of the situation. Yeah, he's got total control of the situation. Got his arm down his back. He's shown it how easy it is. These techniques are really good for a lot of uh, door supervisors use these techniques to get drunk people out of clubs, and you can understand why, guys. I feel sorry for this bloke though, who's taken all the punishment. They should have changed it up. He must have done something wrong in there during the day to be able to be pinged with this. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, he's just locked his leg and that's gonna really hurt. Probably pop his knee out. I'm surprised he isn't gonna get it get injured during this. Oh, 
I thought we were, I thought we were going to change change him out and get a fresh person in, but he's going to going to go through some more of this. He, he's getting punished for something, 100%. I'm really enjoying watching how these guys do self-defence. It's literally like watching how we did self-defence, just a different uniform. So I'm quite impressed so far, troops. Very impressed. Hang on, let's watch this again. We need to see that again. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> I think he hit him in the chin as well. Right, that was pretty good, troops. I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, a little bit different that today. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna probably. I've got a few more vi uh, videos just like this lined up that I'm going to be reacting to. Hopefully, bring in a new audience as well. Um, get some of our Indian brothers on board because yeah, massive army, loads of experience. It would be good to get you in the Discord to hear about your experiences because we going all over the world with our reactions, guys. And like I said, we're all in this together. We're all military or ex-military or I've got an interest in the military. So yeah, let's just grow it together, troops. If you did like this video, please smash the like button. Please hit the subscribe and notifications bell so you get notified each and every time we go live. Don't forget to join the Discord. The link is in the description or someone, one of our kind moderators Raters. I'll drop a link in the live chat for you guys now. If you've managed to donate today, then thank you very much, guys. You're certainly not obliged to donate, but it really does help the channel out each and every time you do that. And if you want to see me live tonight and have a bit of a chinwag, a chat, we'll be live on Twitch. Just to let you know, guys, how we normally work it on Twitch. We normally go through about... Um, two three hours worth of gameplay slash chatting so i've got a number of scenes on there where i can literally flick the scene and we just get into chat mode so that's the perfect place to ask me questions perfect place to hang out on a saturday night and yeah if you want to come along that would be fantastic to have you guys there we've grown pretty quick on twitch so the link will be in the description to that please sign in join up and we will be there straight after this video troops okay but anyway in fact no we won't i will let you know when we're on Okay, but we will be on tonight on Twitch, guys. So a message in the Discord is the best place for you guys to be notified from. Okay, but that troops, hope you enjoyed this one. Big love to India. Hopefully we get some followers from you guys over there. Be interested to see your take on it. Anyway, guys, stay classy. Peace.